Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the light, it's very difficult. My window is just here. I have a soft box here, but it's kind of complicated. I just hope you see me well and you hear me well. My mic, not me, it's just there. Today's video is about the Cajun culture. I'm going to learn about this Cajun, the Cajun culture and I'm going to dig into this fantastic culture. So. Prior to this video, I read the entire Wikipedia uh, page about the Cajun culture. I actually read it half in English and then it was actually pretty hard to understand everything. Um, so I switched to French and even though I read it in French, I did not get everything to be honest, but I did get the most important stuff. And there's a lot of history uh, behind the Cajun culture. A lot of, yeah, a lot of history from like hundreds of years ago. Some terrible and sad stories too around the people that came uh, in Louisiana. Lu Louisiana? Louisiana? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and you know, like it, it was pretty hard for them and all. Um, and then I watch, uh, I watch by myself because it's a 16 minute videos that a few of you were requested, recommended in English and in French. So I decided to watch it in French to get everything, you know? Yeah, United States in Louis Louis Louisiana, excuse me, I'm gonna tell this with my French accent. Cajuns are keen to preserve their identity. It's a 16 minute documentary and it's very, very well made. Um, I learned a lot about uh, through this documentary. So we followed a man who has a family in his house and all. This is two girls and two daughters. Da da daughters? Daughter? Daughters? Oh my god. And his wife and he has, uh, you know, like uh, horses and all. He's hunting the cro crocodile. Crocodile or alligators? <laughs> I don't know. And well, he's telling us about the difficulty of being a Cajun. I mean, about his parents' difficulties of being Cajun because back then he, he said something. C'était pas une bonne chose d'être Cajun. C'était pas intelligent. C'était, you know. C'est juste comme la manière que les Mexicains sont traités à cette heure, c'était comme ça pour nos parents. Um, so, ça en dit long. I don't know how you said that in English, but I'm gonna put the translation here. Um, so it was really interesting. And then we saw uh, an old man t telling, us, telling us about it. And well, it was very, very well made and um, I learned a lot about it. So I really highly recommend you to watch it uh, if you didn't watch it yet. So now what I'm going to do, uh, and I also listen to music. It was Petit Kodiak by Zachary Richard. Um, I didn't understand that much I was saying, if he was uh, singing in English. But what I'm going to do today uh, with you now is I'm going to look at your comments on my Cajun past, community past. I'm gonna just dig more into this culture with you. Um, I'm going to listen to some people talking in Cajun and we're gonna see that together. So keep in mind that I'm very new to this. Unfortunately, we I've never learned about Cajun culture, about the Cajun culture in school, at school. Um, that's very unfortunate because it's very interesting and I have a, I think it's, you know, yeah, it's very unfortunate because we're French and, and this history is, is very important, I think. But anyway, uh, I'm doing this right now. So just keep in mind that as I'm very new to this, I can make mistakes. I can say some stuff that are not true, but just because I don't understand well or I'm just reading stuff online. Um, and just keep in mind that I don't want to be rude. I just want to learn more about the Cajun culture. So I'm sorry if I say something that hurt you or hurt the culture or that is really not true. I'm really sorry. Please correct me in the comments. I'm here to learn. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to go again through my comments. Um, so I write, next week I'm planning to create a video around the Cajun culture. As a French, you're a lot to tell me I, to discover uh, this culture. I was thinking of creating a video in which I will listen to some music, discover the food and give you my impressions. I will not listen to some music because I have two, it's, it's two, will be blocked. It's highly, I'm highly sure that it will be blocked if I can say that. So I will listen to some music by myself, I'm sorry about it. 
Um, I will uh, will read some comments. We're gonna go through that together. So some of you recommend me to watch movies. I will. Patrick Tomlinson. Tomlinson. I wrote a video on the family-owned store that makes its own boudin, boiled crawfish, jambalaya. Mm, so bon. Uh, so yeah, I clicked on that one. So we're gonna see that. And well, it's a 19 minute video, so I'm gonna just, you know, go through it with you. Pounds of crawfish wow. in here. These mud bugs have boiled into this beautiful red color. It's like a scarlet. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think I showed which the entire video. Steps foot in the USA. Oh, you're, you don't see that. The first time this Minnesota boy has gone south. And our deep south food tour starts here in Louisiana. First of all, in Minnesota, we call... Okay, it's a whole lot of stories that I need to watch, but I won't do this in video because again it will probably be blocked or something like this so let's go back to some other comments and see what kind of food they are and i'm gonna go on google you know and google stuff yes i heard about the zydeco zydeco uh, music on the wikipedia page so let's it's a music genre that evolved in sounds West Louisiana by French Creole speakers, which blends blues, rhythm and blues, and music indigenous to the Louisiana Creoles and the Native American people of Louisiana. Okay, so this is how we call the music from them, from there. Okay, so Cajun music and Zydeco are closely related. Cajun music is the music of the white Cajuns, while Zydeco is the music of the black Creoles of the same region. Uh huh. Okay, 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 so that's it. When are you coming to visit us in New Orleans? New Orleans. Hopefully get you inside the stadium to watch a Saint Games for some American football. I'd love to. I've never seen an American football match. Match of American football. Fried Gator Tail and the new... Gumbo. William Smith said Gumbo Fried ga ga Gator Tail and the New Orleans sense. Let's search for gumbo. What is gumbo? It's a soup. Oh, it, it seems very complete, very... Wow, wow. Okay. I just ate, but I'm already hungry. So, okay, wow. That seems very good. Mm, let's see the ingredients. It's a soup popular in the U.S. state of Louisiana. In the a strongly flavored stock, meat or shellfish, a sea cunner, and the Cajun Krill, Holy Trinity, celery, bell peppers, and onions. Wow. Here I have to say I don't know any. Okay, so let's go to an amazing thing that is called word reference <laughs> and learn about the word. So what it is? Um, thickener. I think thickener is just like to say, I don't know how to say that, but uh, yeah, an epicis. I knew I knew about that. Okay, so in the Cajun, Cajun Creole Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity Church. I think I lost myself here. I was in the cooking section and then I went on the religion section. Um, I don't know, how did I end up here? What does that mean, the Holy Trinity? Oh, okay, I, I understood, the Holy Trinity. So I just read that the Holy Trinity was the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, Spirit, Spirit. And here it's the celery, the bell papers, and the onions. Is that it? That's, I think it is. Okay, I think it is. Okay, a very, probably very nutritious, no? Not that much fat. Ooh, a lot of salt, potassium. Oh, that that's mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems good. Seems good. Um, okay. So gumbo. I like to try gumbo. Fried gator. Well, I understand what it is. I actually didn't know that you call it some gator. How does it look? How does it look? Oh, it's like chicken. Actually, it seems tasty. 
but just knowing that it's gator um you know i'm so not used to think of alligator as something that you will eat that <clears throat> i i think if i come to the states i hope one day i'll try you know because because i want to because i'm curious uh but you know in my head i'm like no it's like bunny you know i don't eat bunny i mean how do you call that rabbit but for me it's bunnies you don't eat bunnies but here in france they do people do but i'm like no nope. <laughs> and it's like this the like gator no but i guess it's just a perspective you know i've been in a culture that you don't eat that and uh and if i want to learn about a culture i need to open my mind and to get out of my comfort zone so of course i will try it one day about the food do we have another kind of food be sure and try red beans and a rice gumbo I like shrimp gumbo and is there black bean fish or chicken Woo! let's see black big finch black bo, 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 black big oh, you know what i mean oh wow oh that seems very good oh you have amazing food wow each time i'm hearing about louisiana or just the cajun culture it's always the food like the food is amazing that the food you have to taste the food Black and catfish, jam, jambalaya, étouffé, and boudin. Pronounce boudin. Boudin. <laughs> okay, let's see jambalaya. It's I, I love this name. Wow. A lot of food are made, I feel like, around um, crevette, shrimps. This is how you say that. I feel like. But I read on the Wikipedia page that, you know, how, how do you say that? Yeah, I just heard that it's something that's very common in the Creole Cajun food. So jambalaya, jambalaya. Let's see what jambalaya is made of. Um, West African, French and Spanish influence consists in mainly on, of meat, vegetables mixed with rice. The meat always includes sausage, often smoked meat such as andouille, along with pork or chicken and seafood such as crawfish or shrimp. <gasps> I would love eating that. Um, I really love andouille, I love pork, I love chicken and seafood. I've never been used to eat seafood as my, you know, the place was where, where I was born is far away from the sea. But then I, you know, I moved quite near to the sea, so the Atlantic, Atlantic Sea. So I kind of, I'm not used to eat seafood, but I was more around seafood, so I get to know more about it. And it's good, but I'm very difficult with seafood. So I don't know if I will like it or not. I need to try. I need to find when this lockdown will be over to find a restaurant here that make Cajun food. I don't know if this will be, this exists. I will listen to someone speaking Cajun. Jorge speaking Louisiana French. Let's see if I can understand what he's saying. Mon nom est Horace Marceau. J'ai été né à le, la ville de Kaplan dans la Louisiane uh -huh. dans 1931. Mm -hmm. et, je, et quand j'ai commencé l'école, euh, je ne pouvais pas parler anglais. Euh, J'avais un, un petit peu de tracas avec les maîtresses. Uh -huh. Mais euh, à, à, après 12 ans, j'ai fini l'école euh, avec une, une nouvelle langue. Uh -huh. J'ai euh, appris à parler anglais. Ah, oh. he's speaking well. I can understand everything. Et, <rire> euh, mon, mon père faisait récolte du, du riz. Et quand j'ai tourné 7 ans, ma, ma, euh, ma tante m'a donné une vache et un veau. Oh, okay, so I won't watch the seven minutes. But he said something like he was, if I understood well, you know, with his teachers in school, something was not good. And I heard about it. Like, I heard that in 1921, if I remember well, speaking French was forbidden. Like, there were, there were a law or something that f was telling to people that speaking French was forbidden and was heavily punished. 
And it's just in 1964 or 8, I don't remember, that this law was like, this law, or I think it was a law, was uh, finally, you know, uh, delayed it and that people could finally speak French again. And I have to know more about that because I don't understand why they will just, you know, forbidden people, forbidden? Not allow people to speak French. Um, you know, that as I understood it, there, they just wanted people to have this English environment always and to just put away the French or just the traditions and all uh, that were coming from another place. I don't, I don't express myself well here, so <clears throat> let me say just that. I found it horrible, but I do understand why they did that, but I found it horrible. But I love the fact that people back then still, you know, uh, made sure to keep cooking, to keep singing, to develop it and to learn because a lot of them uh, told their children how to speak French and all. And this is how nowadays some people are still speaking French or, you know, know about the Cajun culture, uh, know about the food and all. And, and I'm happy that some people did, uh, you know, even though they were low and they were heavily punished. So yeah, but I didn't understand him. He's speaking very well. Uh, so of course he has an accent. But it's not a, that's the, the weird part is that he doesn't have an American accent. He doesn't have an English accent either. He has an accent, but it's not, I don't really know what it is, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it's very dark now, sorry. So artistic beer said the food is very spicy and some favorite dishes are gumbo and jambalaya. So I heard about that. So some boudin. The truth about boudin and me, I don't like boudin, I've hated boudin all my life, my whole life. But a few months ago, I tasted it again, you know, because sometimes you hate some foods when you're a child and then growing up, you're like, oh, I actually like it. And for boudin, I have to say that I think I have some, I have, I have a journey with this because I don't think I will like it as soon as I'd like to. It's very weird the taste. But yeah, I'm making it for to try it again in a few in a few weeks. So yeah, it's a lot about jambalaya, boudin, the food, the the music. Uh, you can see that the culture is really around the food and the music, uh, and of course the language. A few of you requested and recommended Mary Chapin Carpenter down at the Twist and Shout, so I will listen to it. Well, it's a, it's a completely mash this video, I know, but trying to discover and trying to know more about a culture that has like hundreds of years of, of yeah, history behind, it's complicated, so I'm sorry, I know this, uh, it's very dark, I'm sorry. I know this, um, this video is kind of a mess, but I'm just discovering it. But it's very interesting, uh, I'm very interested in just knowing more about it and digging more about it. So if you have any more, some history stuff, facts to add and to explain to me, please do so in the comments. I will be uh, really happy to read you and to learn more about it. Actually, you know what? I'd like to, uh, if I go to the States one day, I hope, this uh, worldwide situation enables me to, enable me to, enables me to. I'd love to come to Louisiana and, um, and learn more about it. But in the States, you know, around the people, tasting the food, listening to the music, it will be a lot more um, educating, ed educating, yeah. And, you know, just it will be better to do that at the right place <laughs> than behind a computer. So this video is very long and it's a mess. I know it wasn't like, I, I actually like just, I wanted to make a, you know, I wanted to organize it, but at the end it was very complicated because there's a lot, you know, a culture, it's not defined by just one thing. And this culture is defined mainly by the food, um, the language, and I guess uh, the song, music, the music. <laughs> uh, but even in the three main things that, that defined uh, the Cajun culture, there are a lot of things to dig up too inside those three main things. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time speaking today, I'm very sorry about it. But you know what I mean, so I will do a lot more research by myself and if you can help me in the comments, I will appreciate it. Yeah, I have another, like, what's the difference between Creole and Cajun cooking? It's a link that one of you uh, gave me in the comments. I will read this uh, article because it seems very interesting. Yeah, I will watch other, you know, video. There is what is Cajun dialect, accent and where it comes from. I will watch it. I will watch this Rory speaking Louisiana French. 
um, and also this boiling 10,000 crawfish uh, video. So yeah, thank you everyone who commented on this community post to help me through your links, to help me through your comments. There are a ton of comments, so this is why I couldn't, you know, 81 comments. So this is why I couldn't go through all of you in my video, but I will go through all of them by myself. I actually did a little before doing this video. So thank you everyone. I'm really happy and glad to, you know, to be able to discover this uh, culture. And I'm very grateful for the one, everyone who recommended that I should check out this culture and just, you know, and learn more about it. So as French, I don't understand why, you, why we don't learn it in schools, but at schools but well we have internet now so i will do my own education <laughs> well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed um please share any information you'd like to in the comment section and i will read you and yeah i will see you very soon for another video happy sunday if you're watching me today <laughs> bye